Hello there, welcome to eight minutes in the studio with Mr. Getz. I am setting a timer for eight minutes here. And this is the second video that I've done in what I hope is gonna be a series of videos where I talk about things that we have around here in the recording studio and control room and classroom. What I wanna start off with is this room is pretty live. It's pretty live, it's pretty echoey. Uh, which is okay. Uh, we may be looking at adding some sound damping in here at some point. I'm gonna be looking forward to that when it happens. We have four of these lights here that are super groovy and they've got a fader on them. Uh, so what you'll have with it is the ability to, the ability to fade up and down and there's a, a slide controller here that controls the amount of light. So when I have students who like to take selfies and I see them taking selfies with not adequate lighting I say let's go to the studio uh, to do that so one thing that we have in here is the the cyclorama so it's a ground row and it's painted white you don't want to step on it the purpose of it is if you have floors cleaned shoes cleaned you've got a DSLR and you've got the ability to work in Photoshop to cut out somebody. You can do a head to toe shot and that way it's like a magazine cover where you see on the cover of a magazine it's a person's full body. That's how it's done is with a ground row. We have three studio cameras in here so what I'm going to do is get this light adjusted and then I am going to jump behind the camera here so I can talk about these different things that that we see in here. So if I were to move the camera here a little bit, and I'm gonna loosen up the tilt. One thing that you always want to do is before you start panning or tilting a camera, you wanna make sure to, to loosen the tripod settings. So we have three cameras like this, and on the camera it's got an SDI out. SDI out is a locking BNC connector, and that runs to the TriCaster in the studio. So we can see the three cameras are all together here in a line. What we can also see is over here is the wireless microphones. So we have four channels of Shure brand microphones. So it's S-H-U-R-E. So it's Shure wireless audio. And these are rechargeable batteries that these wireless belt packs have in them. So those can go on the charger in the control room when they are dead. Over here we have, there's an iMac. So we have a computer in here that we can use GarageBand on. Uh, currently there's a post-it that says there's no Adobe Premiere, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully we'll be able to get Premiere on it soon. I'm running into, I'm running into wires and boxes here as I'm pushing this around. Have a guitar amp over here, so this is a Fender Champion 30. Uh, the left input hasn't been working too well, but the right input works okay. So it's a little 30 watt silver face amp that can be used with, usually with guitar, you can also use it with the keyboard. There's a hole in the wall here. Not this hole in the wall. <laughs> Look at the focus, the autofocus is going a little bit crazy here. So this hole in the wall, the cables that come in and out of here, I'm gonna explain what they are. The blue one goes to the snake. The snake, is a box that is over here in the corner. It's a little bit hard to see. It's a Whirlwind brand snake. And what that is, is XLR inputs and also XLR outputs, so we can run signal, audio signal, back to the control room. That's what the big blue cable is right there. And then there's also three black cables I talked about before. Those are the B and C cables. The B and C is the video signal that comes from the cameras that are over here from the three cameras. So there's three BNC cables. There is two audio cables. So one of the audio cables is currently run over here, up to here, and it's run to right there. That audio cable is the aux send from the control room, which the control room is back over here. So the aux send is how you take an audio signal and put it into the PA system. The PA system is currently not uh, set up, but this is where the speakers uh, go right here. So I had them pulled for a dance video that we shot a couple nights ago during Audio Video Club. 
So that's one of the audio signals. There's a second audio signal that comes out and goes to, and I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna lock the tripod down. So you want to be sure to lock the tripod down when you step away from it. So it doesn't end up, so it doesn't end up uh, uh, dropping down and tilting on you. What that other audio cable runs to is a belt pack. So these are the same type of belt packs that we can use over in the stadium for football or track or for events over at the stadium. And so there's a belt pack and then there's a headset. The headset has communication. So what happens with this is it's a way for the control room to communicate with the camera operator. There was a shoot that we did in here a couple days ago and it was some questions the student had, students had submitted where they had questions for Mr. Matthews. I had to, I had to cut earlier because there was a horrible audio noise and what that was is when I knelt down to speak over here, I was actually standing on the lavalier clip and then when I stood up, it popped out and made a horrible sound. What I was talking about was we had a video that we shot with Mr. Matthews, the principal, students had submitted questions, and then I had three students here that were asking the questions. It would have been really good if one of those students would have had a headset on, and then what we could do is talk to that student if we think the conversation was going in, if there was a different direction that we wanted the conversation to go in. So it could be a little bit of a, not an in-ear monitor, but kind of like a visible headset. Uh, that one of the members of the talent could have. So we have a headset that would be for the camera operator, but then there would also be a headset that would be used uh, potentially for talent. There's been some great stuff that we've been shooting in here so far, and we had the mayor come visit us two days ago, and we started a conversation on how to use this space to facilitate community conversations. So it's a little bit of what does the mayor do? What's the mayor's role? What, what voice do students have and what voice do teenagers have in the community here in Maynard to, to see some of their ideas come to light, let's say. I don't have the, I don't have the timer with me, but as you can tell uh, by that beeping, uh, time's up. Uh, thanks for watching. So this is the second in a series I hope to do uh, called Eight Minutes in the Studio with Mr. Getz. Thank you.